We have sophomores through seniors with us now and beginning in a, so a sophomore situation. These girls and, and got boys are, are learning from the get-go what it's like to manage a classroom, what it's like to have a, a wide range of abilities in a classroom, and then what it takes to meet those different learning styles and learning abilities. And they are becoming part of the process of meeting the kids at their, their individual levels. I think that the impact on the students is just knowing that their teachers and like their entire school is behind them and cares for them. Like Marlboro already does that with developing the personal learning plans, but I think by pulling more educators in here or more future educators, they're not only helping out um, students who want to be teachers, but they're helping out their students now. One, two, three. Well, I have a degree in elementary education and I just recently got my master's in special education. And so it's really nice to be able to um, bring that information into my classroom because I'm thinking about special education as not a separate entity but within my classroom as full inclusion. Oh, I don't know. It sounded from back there. Yeah, no, I thought it. Did you say it? I kind of said pot because I got mixed up kind of. You didn't finish. Thank you for being so honest. Um, Mrs. Gray really uses a lot of different techniques to teach a student so that everybody has the opportunity to learn in their own way. One, two, three. Six. That was a close one. That's a tie. So do you think it's fair to end with a tie? Yeah. yeah. Do we want to count and see how many people we have on each side? Yeah. yeah. One, Teachers two, definitely have to make three, a lot of accommodations four, five, anyways. Six, like we seven. have to be used like they have to be used to um, you know, helping students out when they need it, but I think with development they just have to be constantly aware of where each student is in terms of development. And that alone it, like takes so much effort, but the teachers at this school are very um, intuitive and they know their students really well. Um, I just recently got my master's in special education and I did it because I have found that not necessarily the number of special edu education children in my class have been increasing, but the number of needs. Going to get my master's in special ed, it allowed me to look at things in a new perspective. So the fact that we're, we're giving the apprentice teachers this leg up on that, for some people, there's... And it doesn't mean that they want to be a special education teacher. It just means that they, they're exposed to more things, more learning styles, more approaches for teaching. Um, today we did the animal greeting, and that was when all the students had to make an animal sound and find their partners and then greet each other formally. Because you guys are going to switch off parts. So Tyler's going to say the first line, you're going to say the next whole green part. Today we also worked on the play. They, the parts were split up between some of the people and we had to highlight different parts for them and we all gathered back together to read it through as a whole. We're highlighting Erin's part and, the, and her partner Zach's part in the play that they're doing. Now all together. See you later. An inclusive school has students with um, disabilities and special needs in the classroom. So, if you're a regular, if a general classroom teacher, you are. A you special are a special ed teacher, but you're not. Um, you are using your special ed background and being the special ed teacher, and you know you have to deal with both of them. So. Uh, it's All along the meadow, 
Where the cows raised and the horses ran, there was an old stone wall. Olivia, what's your favorite part of Frederick? Um, no. I like the part of when they pop out. When who pops out? Frederick and the rest of the mice. What part do you play? Frederick. You play Frederick? That's so awesome. Um, my favorite part is when is when she says, "Poor little feels like like you and I." What do you do in that part? I just really like shake and sh shake my house and make it go squeak squeak. In that wall, not far away from the bar, not far from the barn and the granary, a chatty family of field mice had their home. Squeak 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 squeak. squeak.